Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm happy to welcome you to Let's Play The Maw. This game came out in 2009, and it's a, uh, an action-adventure title about a little boy who makes a new friend. Before we begin, I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my friend Spartan Demon, who gifted me this game for Christmas. Aww. I heard about this game when it came out, and I thought it looked neat, but I never actually checked it out. So it's nice to get a second chance. Thank you, Spartan Demon. Sincerely. I hope you enjoy this series, because it's dedicated to you. I would also like to mention, my usual spiel, that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. Let's move the mouse off to the side. I'm going to play this game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now, without further ado, let's play the Maw. No time did I say the little boy was human. screen for a second there. Uh, Must have been a near-death experience. Talk this out. <laughs> this kid is not having a great day. Okay, so now I suddenly don't have a concussion anymore. I can move around more freely. I can even jump. So, I had been planning to give this guy a ridiculous, like, retro-sounding alien name. Something like Bobulon or something. <laughs> I had actually been planning to go, you know what, you need a name. I'm gonna call you Bob. No, wait, you can't be Bob. You're an alien. You would be more like Bobulon or something. And that was all well and good, except then when I was, you know, I went and looked up the precise release date for this game to make sure I had it right. And when I did, I learned... Apparently the protagonist of this game is named Frank. <laughs> Meet Frank, everybody! And his... Uh... Charming companion, The Maw. If that's because I was dawdling. Oh, oh, oh now I 
have a death ray? No, not really. It's, um... A leash? I think. I mean, the mall kind of follows you even if you don't do that, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. But we'll see. If you can manage to get far enough away from him... Eh, no, it's not doing it. At one point, when I was fucking around and testing, I hit X, and instead of doing that, the kid just yells, Ma! I do like that this story is being told so far without any actual dialogue that I can understand. go. Frank seemed kind of horrified by the concept of predation there, but uh, he seemed to get over it pretty quickly. Look at the squares in the grass now that I'm zooming way out. Huh. So it's made of paper mache. Get me back here. Escaped. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. All growed up. Help Ma grow for the first time. Oh, uh, also, I like this screen here, the Help and Options screen, because you go here, and again, no... Well, I guess it does say what they're called, but... Just buttons, what they do. Hold to spin, release to throw. I don't know what that is. Why does it keep moving the mouse to the center of the screen? That's very annoying. Oh, it's your tongue, that's what that is. <laughs> Okay. Oof. Walking a rock is not as much fun as walking the lawn. I really like the design on Frank here, by the way. Wanted to mention that. With the symmetrical hands and the, the three pupils in each eye. I'm not really sure what's going on in the story here. I mean, those guys sure looked like, you know, soldiers or bounty hunters or something. But those could have just been space cops. I mean, for all we know, Frank here is a fully grown man and he's been arrested for fraud. That's a big red X. You look important. It's not disturb that sleeping thing that looks like it's on fire, and uh, let's just head over here. I was wondering if the maw was water-soluble or not. That would have been a pain in the ass. Here. 
cannot attach these things. Oh, there you are. Maybe it's like a Katamari Damasi thing. If I get make them all get big enough, you can eat those guys. Well, let's say we're fair ways off of that. Oh, those guys are awake now. Let me guess, you're going to attack me if I walk up close. Joy that there's at least three of those lines in there. No, you can't eat him yet? Fine. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I need some more of the smaller dudes before you do that. Sorry, little guy. Not your fault, you're bite sized. Already my height. That. Hmm, yeah, okay, yeah, I really should have seen that one coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, the poor deer. For a horrible space monster, he's really quite charming. Oh, that was something. I think I saw a guide for this game on Steam that suggests there's one of those gross bug guys hidden in every level. And there's an achievement for eating them all. I guess the other thing is just how many regular uh, eatables there are. That is, inf incidentally, the, uh, the uh, right bumper. That up. Nothing else seems to do anything. Can I grab you? Yes! Okay. Throw the guy in the water. I get it. Oh, my goodness. Damn it, Ma. I saw that. No. Holy crap. I take you in the water. Do you go out? Is that how that works? Not immediately. Very interesting. Can I make you eat him? Yes. Yes, yes! Eat him and grow strong! <laughs> oh, wait! God damn it, Ma, stop killing everything. It's, uh, useful.
little bit inefficient. Let's, uh... Almost immediately went out of my hand. Oh, it's right. It's hold Y. Duh. I knew that. Oh, apparently I can burn those trees. No. Oh, I thought he was going to go out and I had like, just my chance to do that thing. Go to the exit, I guess? That's what I'm getting out of that. Okay, he's big enough to finish the level. Yeah, yeah. You know what really needs to die? These trees. I won't complain if you do that. I'm starting to understand why they had them all under so much security on that ship. rock do to you? Wait. No, I can't grab that rock. Don't just wander off, young man. Hmm. Up here. Get them. I'm not even sure that was a plan. What are you? Can I move you? Yes. Ooh. game is by, uh, Twisted Pixel Games, if you didn't notice the logo at the beginning. Who are probably most well-known for making, uh, Splosion Man and Ms. Splosion Man back in the day. It's a very good thing I'm apparently fireproof, huh? I'm just saying. Entirely sure how I feel about that. This big tree here. Can you murder this? You can! Let's totally destroy the environment like assholes for no obvious reason. So I could just wander off, or I could you know, try to find the last uh, handful of hapless people to eat. God, I hope they're not people. That's exactly what I would need to make my conscience feel better after all this learning. They were intelligent. Over here... I can't really steer him so much as sort of guide him with uh, my movements. The right stick. Uh, just aim as the camera. This is not uh, Overlord, where you aim your dudes or, you know, that directly. Now that you're fire, I should backtrack and see if I can find anyone else. I don't think there were any, uh, trees back this way. 
Actually, there was one. I'm only missing one dude. There's the timer. Urine. Well, I'm gonna look around for that last guy. And then I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Maw. When uh, Frank's charming new companion here leads him to uh, whatever that arrow is pointing to, I guess. Later.